And then Final Fantasy V is pretty good too. Oops. I was walking through a quarry. I said to the foreman, that sure is a big rock. Boulder, he corrected me. So I stuck on my chest and shouted, that sure is a big rock. <laughs> Come on, man. That sounds like a Patrick. <laughs> oh, thank you for the 53 months, dude. Appreciate it. Wow, we're coming up on... Uh, 56 seems like a number. <laughs> it sure is a number. There's a five in it and a six. <laughs> no, the next the next big one is 60. That's the that's the five year mark. 56 is somewhere between. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? We've been yakking. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh. Forwards to the adventure. Damn, where's the damn intro? Did I already accidentally run the intro? I think I did. Oh, well, yes. again. We... It is why I was so confused at the beginning. All my stuff is in the wrong place. Hey, Braxton, 49 months. Thank you. Thank you for that Twitch Prime. Get those woos in chat. Yeah. Um. So, also, uh, everybody say hi to Fuzzy Slinky. Uh, he is going to be our editor for the Final Fantasy II series for the YouTube, which we are actually posting YouTube videos now. Yay! Yay! But that also means now I could do shit like, hey, Fuzzy Slinky, give me a hat. Put a, put a hat on Panda, do it. <laughs> You're our slave. Because <laughs> that's what that means. <laughs> editor equals slave. <laughs> yeah, really looking forward to seeing what, I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do. Power Stone has already been doing a lot of really good work on, uh, a lot of good work on his stuff. Looking forward to seeing our second Lixian. <laughs> no, you're our Barry. He's our Lixian. This, the, there's no, there's no one better than the other. It's just you're the, you're the OG. You know. <laughs> All right, onward. Hey. Yeah, we get to name them all ahead of time. We don't wind up with fucking naming way where suddenly I, it's like, you know what? I don't want to be, I don't want to be Cecil anymore. I want to be Honkman. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be Motifa. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So spoiler alert, we can name this guy whatever we want. We can name him Bud Lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, no, here we go. Up to six full width characters or twelve half width characters. What does that mean? I'm sorry, but huh? I don't know what that means. I <laughs> is half width like an eye? Is does that refer to Japanese character? I don't know what that means. Um let's see. So what route do we want? Do we want to go the Piftu route or do we want to go the chat route? Uh. That certainly could be worded better than any of the other Pixel remakes put up this stipulation. Nope. <laughs> weird. Of course, then again, this one has a weirder dialogue system than the others. Kinda. Like, I don't even think the first one ever referred to your characters by name. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, we have named the we have named Kobold's character. Does anybody else want a character? Braxton wants a character. Hey, great! Three months. Thank you. Hello, less than FF and R is beaten. FF and R. <laughs> uh, which one is that? There you go. This is Butt Lord. That's that's Braxton's character. Oh, FF7R. Rock oh, on. Oh, okay. Anybody else want a character? We uh, got Kobolds. We got Braxton's. Uh, guy. We'll name. Yep, there you go. 
dude. Anthony will name Maria after Creighton. Um, actually, Butler probably isn't gonna show up properly. So, are you hearing that too? Yeah, I just heard a boo, but it didn't sound like a standard Windows Windows boop. A Windows boop. Uh, so this is Braxton Butlow. There we go. Oh, we. Uh, oh, my controller unplugged. Uh, Cairo wants a character, so we should rename uh, Guy. Creighton will be Maria. Well, we already we already gave everybody characters. There's only four characters. There are more characters that show up later, so we can give we can give chat. Uh... I don't think you name those characters though. Don't you? No, they're like side characters. Lame. That joined the party temporarily. So we got me, Kratom, Curl, and Butlo. <laughs> this is gonna be. No. Oh. Why? Why are you like this? No, it's doing that thing. Oh, with the speaker, damn it. All right, let's play a game. Start game with these names. Get out of here, mouse. Shoo. <laughs> a long lived peace. Is at an end. Uh oh. Gee, what a surprise. Okay, I was about to say that wasn't a very effective attack. Oh no! D Demons! Final Fantasy IV! Oh no, the two inhabitants of this town. <laughs> the Emperor of Palavagan has begun his campaign for world conquest. <laughs> How fast do we expect us to read? Oh no. Wait, red, white mages? Uh. A, <laughs> a red army to rose somewhere. I don't. Wow, Nin they got here fast. Ninjas. <laughs> but the rebels' castle fell to an all-out assault by the Empire. All-out assault meaning two dudes. Uh, four dudes. They're doomed. <laughs> we could take care of. Left with little choice. Shut up. The rebels withdrew <laughs> to the remote. Something. This story's not important. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first story in an RPG. <laughs> Four youths from Finn also found themselves fleeing the Imperial forces. They had lost their parents at the hands of the Empire, but their escape wasn't over. I like how the four soldiers show up, and they could have easily oh, grabbed the queen. This this sequence right here was huge. <laughs> also, this soundtrack is absolutely killer. Alright. Man, the eyebrows on me. <laughs> Ow. 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 Ha ha! Ow. <laughs> <laughs> and thus the anime queen. Hold on, saved voice them. time. Uh, you be Hilda. Will he live? <laughs> he will. I sense a strong life force within him. He should regain consciousness soon. We found him like this on the escape from Finn, fallen from terrible wounds. <laughs> I'm from Sweden. Ding a ding a dergen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why does that always happen? <laughs> By the time we brought him, him here, I feared it was already too late. His life is not in danger. He just got nearly decapitated <laughs> by a <laughs> heavily armed man with a giant glaive. <laughs> This sigil will strengthen his life force. We should let him rest now. Blair! Blair! <laughs> of course! <laughs> Minwoo's already blaming. <laughs> There's gotta be one. <laughs> We'd best be off to the meeting. I imagine they're already waiting for us. You know, and give it your all. I put the voice acting tag on this one. <laughs> <laughs> if the Empire is allowed to complete the dreadnought, they're building in Bafsk. I don't sorry, know. I sorry, I sneezed. <laughs> Our attack will begin in earnest. <laughs> we cannot sit idly by and watch. We must act. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Nothing for it. Where is he? Where is he? Come out here, young man. 
Come out here, young man. You know what you did. Farewell. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> Creighton tries to jump in front of no Koda to absorb the blow, but Koda has already vanished from reality. Uh, well, he's main character, and you're playing. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. What's a good What's a good voice for this character? I mean, you could resurrect an old classic. Not for this. <laughs> I, like. Oh, I, like I thought you were talking about the old classic. I'm like, not for this, dude. <laughs> no, um, like uh, you could get you could give him the Pokedoka. Oh. Yeah, that was that was what I was talking about. Not for this guy. He he's not good enough for Pokedoka. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, who's... <clears throat> Abu, I'll I'll go up there. Up, where am I? <laughs> Bolo, Kratom, Carol, where are you? You do her. I've already done another. <laughs> I've already done a woman. Me, you're alive. I I thought I thought you. Everyone here has a deviated septum. <laughs> septum. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I gotta do deviate seven for her. He he needs a different voice. He needs a different voice. Um um um. <laughs> uh, Minecraft villager. <laughs> I will give him overly dramatic voice. <laughs> I'm fine, Kratom. You seem all right too, Curl. But wait, where's Buffalo? Versus the fair savers. But, but I hear. I see. Don't worry. I'm sure he's okay. <laughs> so you regain your strength. Very good. Your life force is strong indeed. It was you who saved us, wasn't it? Thank you. Forgive me, your highness, but there is something I must ask of you. Please, let us to join the rebel army. I could never allow such a thing. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm supposed to hear Shakespearean actors. What Sh the fuck? <laughs> like, Shakespeare all up on some common phrases like, what the fuck? You know nothing of battle. I know how to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that is one thing. You have to give me that I know how to die. And that is a thing you can do in battle. That's would, one thing. You would only be throwing your lives away. You should return to your homes. Well, we have no homes. Not anymore. Oof. <laughs> they killed our homes. <laughs> the Imperials attacked and our parents. Our, our parents. Braxton is crying at your inaccurate Middle English. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I am truly sorry, but that changes nothing. I cannot permit you to join our army. If you know where else to go, you're welcome to stay here and not there. If you know our password, you should be able to live here well enough. The password is Wild Rose. <laughs> the password is Wild Rose! It's My secret! <laughs> it's secret. Tell no one. <laughs> the Wild Rose is the insignia of the Kingdom of Finn. It represents our hope for a flourishing future of strength and beauty. But what will become of Finn now? I well, he'll go on an adventure with his dog friend, and it'll be <laughs> really surprisingly adult given the target demographic. I've heard that the Empire's captives suffer there in confinement even as we speak. Kratom, your brother Buffalo is missing. <laughs> I like the idea that she's stumbling because she's like looking at the script. She's like, Kratom, your brother Butlow is missing. Who wrote this? <laughs> is he not? Is George Lucas hiding in the corner somewhere? <laughs> it's possible that he's being held in Finn as well. But Finn is far too dangerous to travel now. The Emperor's beast still stuck the streets. Well, you probably shouldn't have said anything then, because now... Because <laughs> it's a bunch of youths who are incredibly impetuous, who have nothing to live for. 
because their homes have burned down, who are missing their dear brother, and you're just like, he's over, he's probably over here, but don't go there! <laughs> Gaining entrance to the city will not be easy, so don't go there! <laughs> the man at my right is Minwu, the white wizard who tended your wounds. Don't talk to him and don't try to get him to go anywhere with you! <laughs> anyway... Speak with him before you leave. To anywhere but Finn. <laughs> he may be of some assistance in not Finn related things. <laughs> okay, thank you. I do like the mini map. That was a nice addition. I see your destiny clearly. You're going to Finn. <laughs> You're what? what? <laughs> I, I said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, now I am Swedish. I am a Swedish Dracula. Blay! Blay? <laughs> Blay? <laughs> uh, the future at home seems closely entwined with my own. <laughs> now he's Swedish Dracula. That's all there is to it. You will begin by journeying to Finn. That is the first step toward realizing your fate. No, he's just sound re like regular Swedish. Fine, he's just Swedish now. Everybody here is Swedish! Yeah, it's, it's the uh, Sweden Besides, portion of this Besides, we do Dracula world. all the time. Sweden Sweden deserves some love. a hing a ding a bling <laughs> This isn't offensive at all. Cancel <laughs> <laughs> Swedia. <laughs> uh, uh, ask about Wild Rose. <laughs> You've wasted no time using the password. I can't remember where I'm from. Blair! <laughs> Heed well the information it will bring you. You can learn much of value by listening. I offer you one more bit of advice before you depart for Finn. Those who have fallen in battle can be revived at a sanctuary. Should one of you fall before you reach Finn, go without hesitation to the nearest sanctuary. Okay, sounds good. Uh, this is Rebel Army's war room. This is their war room. Oop. The port of Paloom lies not <laughs> far east of here. It's a big rock. All right, Finn. Good name. Good town name. Good city ne name. Like, would absolutely adventure in Finn in Dungeons and Dragons. Paloom is a little more Final Fantasy <laughs> in that it's sillier sounding. But still, it's like, yeah, you could probably see a small town known as Paloom. I would but not Basque. <laughs> I would love to see a Final Fantasy game where, like, you sail out onto the ocean, and there are just two big barren rocks named Paloom and Paroom. <laughs> Palum and Param. <laughs> Man, they got real big. <laughs> oh, controller... The lake separates us, so you won't be able to reach the town without a canoe. Also, diagonal movement! Heading to Finn, are we? It's not my place to tell you what to do. What? <laughs> but I'd reconsider if I were you. <laughs> you tell him! It's a dangerous place to be seen. The city is crawling with the Empire's monsters. Yeah! Why does the Empire just have monsters? Because they're evil, you idiot! <laughs> Welcome to Canada. The military, we just started inviting xenomorphs in. This is how we do battle now. <laughs> Would that be war crimes? <laughs> it's Canada. They're already like the baddest of ass. <laughs> to the north lies a small village called Gatria. See, there's another good town name. Yeah, exactly. Judging by the look of you, you'd be lucky to make it that far. So don't go to Gatria. <laughs> like, if Canada sent. Xenomorphs and the mount and the mounted police after me. I'm not sure which one I'd run away from harder. Uh, Brayden asks if you can. Uh, Brayden asks if you know how to row a boat. I do. But do you know how to portage? <laughs> you have rainbow clown here. <coughs> Before you go, oh Jesus Christ! You made me forget what I was talking about. Uh, you'll find people somewhere who can teach you a thing or two about adventuring. I think you're going to need all the advice they can spare. Because you look like a noob. <laughs> you're in the rebel hideout in the town of Altair. Thanks. I say that to everyone who passes by. <laughs> Gordon. Something made him lose faith in himself. Hey, a potion. Very nice. 
to whom it may concern. Princess Hilda fled here when Finn was sacked. Oh. Well, I guess he's not on the show anymore. Yeah, it's just Jake. <laughs> the adventure, adventure time, but just Jake. <laughs> that sounds like a YouTube poop. <laughs> it kind of does. It's like Garfield minus Garfield. All right, well, I guess we've finished up in here. Do I have money? Uh, we have 400 Jill. Uh -huh. Water effects! That fountain is unnecessarily animated. <laughs> like, your character is like, do, 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 two frames, two frames, and they're like, this fountain needs all the frames! <laughs> Give it particle physics. <laughs> yeah, they absolutely nailed the soundtracks on this. I'm so excited for Oh, Final he doesn't Fantasy have Rainbow Six. Clown hair. He's got like a weird yeah, turban where his hair sticks out one part in the top front. Yes. That's which fucking JoJo shit. <laughs> I think in the NES version, he was just like a modified fighter sprite. And this one, they made him look a lot closer to Amano's. What was, his, what was his original name? Furion, I think. Nathan Furion. Alright, what kind of gear do we have? Broadsword, buckler, bow, clothes, axe, leather armor. Why did... Can she really only wear clothes? Like, even yeah, rogues probably... can wear leather armor. Yeah. It's not even modified. It's just the fighter spray. <laughs> what can I do for you? I believe they can all wear whatever you want. It's just what they wear, like, has effects on their abilities. So it's like, if you want someone to be... If you want someone to be strong... I guess he's dual wielding now. Oh. Why did I just have all this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> like, why did I have all? Why did I just have all this equipment sitting in my? Oh. Oh. <laughs> did you just waste a bunch of money? No. I just handed them all. Like, I was like, where did I get this extra sword and shield and? All right. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> so, what, basically what I was getting at was we're not going to play around with the archetypes they've already handed us. I mean, why? It's not like you it know, it's anything. fun and it's I always guess. and like not to mention it's like the standard thing where it's like, "Oh, the girl's already set up to be a weak physical fighter, but possibly a strong magic caster kind of thing." It's like I always like taking a curl there and making him a hand-to-hand -hand fighting white mage. <laughs> um... I'm gonna take me... And I'm gonna make... Him... Oh no, he's nude! No! No, stop that. Bo. And she... is gonna dual-wield broadswords. And then put on a hat. And... Played at the club. Feel Yo, Slinky! And and oh, come on! With the... The gift sub, thank you! Enjoy your, uh, enjoy your, uh... The... Oh, and he's throwing out two gift subs. Rock on, thank you! Uh, let's see... Dual shields! <laughs> Arthur, two shields. Jackson. Still want to see if I can make that a viable build somehow in the original Dark Souls. Um, Especially if you could eventually duplicate... Well, no, because it, it would have to be a shield you can attack with. So it would have to be, like, great shields. Power Stone says, the other day... My cat got stolen. Some say it was a cat burglar, but I think it was just a purse snatcher. 
Crane stop stabbing clocks. All right, back to this. All right, so I gotta figure out what I want to do with curl. Uh, bare hand. I suppose I could do bare hand. It'll save you money. <laughs> could just make him double buckler. Why not? I don't think he can actually attack in that case. He just sits there and eats. <laughs> <laughs> well, then he would be like a turbo tank, because they will attack him on occasion, right? I guess. So if what if was... I make him what if I make him a white mage tank? I give him a shitload of experience points, two shields, he never attacks, all he does is heal. Um They'll never kill him, he'll be Hold on, go to status. Shield is a skill. See, it would only really work all that well, I think, if there was a way to draw fire. Like in the original, you had a you had a pretty surefire way to make sure this character always is the one primarily getting targeted, and that would stick him in the top, top slot. Whereas anyone in the front row, I think. Well, in... it's not like he needs to draw fire. It's just. If I make him a super tanky white mage, our white mage will always be alive. <laughs> you know, you're not gonna run into that situation. Like, traditionally, white mages are always squishy. Right? Right. So, we're just kind of swap- switching that up by saying, No, our white mage is going to be a tanky son of a bitch with a shitload of experience points- or with a shitload of hit points, two shields, <laughs> never attacks, never does anything other than sits there, doesn't die, and casts heal. Um, he should stay in the front row, though. Because the only way he's going to get become a proper tank is getting the shit kicked out of him. We could beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Do you really want to spend the majority of the stream grinding f face punches? That's Final Fantasy. These people know what they signed up for. <laughs> when, they pumped, when they popped into Final Fantasy, they knew... That they are going to be grinding because it's not yeah, Final Fantasy Yeah, there's going to be six. grinding, but like... <laughs> because it's an NES Final Fantasy. There was going to be grinding, period. They did not fix that until the Super Nintendo. Because apparently the Super Nintendo had the technology it required to make a game without grinding. <laughs> it had the anti-grinding chip. No, see, that's the thing. Final Fantasy IV was all a ruse. Just so they could trick you and make you have to start the whole game over again. I am not convinced that the reason why the end boss was so hard in Final Fantasy IV is because they t tweaked all of the rest of the game to make it friendlier to America, but then left in that last boss as a big fuck you. <laughs> I mean, let's see what happens. Shield is yeah, a skill, so sure, why not? Let's as he out. gets hit, he'll get better at shield and get more defense from it. She's dual wielding swords. So she's gonna be our primary DPS for right now. And me is doing bows? Is that what we're gonna stick with? I don't remember bows being particularly good in this game. I mean, what are the other options? Fists, knives, staff, axe, spear, torch, uh, paintbrush. <laughs> That's spear. <laughs> sure it is. It's not realm. It's um, just a shitty bent tip spear. Shield only run. Everybody only uses <laughs> shields. Shields and magic. But what if you can attack with shields? Um Yeah, I guess I guess we'll do bows. Like what can we supplement him with? I mean, if obvious bows and mat bows and magic? Well, yeah, obviously if you've got um curl on white magic then uh, me here could be black magic. All right, works for me. And then she's just gonna be our uh, DPS, I guess. She's gonna be murder ho. -ho. Murder ho. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, I believe. What can I do for you? Oh, good. It's just all the magic. Cool. Uh, all right, like one, one cure, cure time, and I can learn uh, fire is the go-to, obviously. You have no money. I have no money. You need thirty more dollars. No. Fine. Magic. 
you gotta use the item. And then use it on Pearl. And now he knows. Here. He's, he's our big dumb white mage. <laughs> he does look kind of like a Dark Souls character. Kind of. In that he is hideously malformed. Somebody probably set the sliders on random a few times. Honestly, that face sprite looks a lot more friendly and likable than his face sprite from the original remake. Because in the original remake, they, they really kind of emphasized the big dumb guy look. Oh. And this... Have a good night, Pistone. Oh yeah! See you later! Um... This is one of the best overworld themes in Final Fantasy history. I'm guessing to your right is the ocean and to your left is fresh water. Or not. It's just weird. It's just shiny. Shit. Attack. Oh, he can't attack. How? Oh! Just fist his way in. Also, like, every, uh, they all, all of the, uh, battle themes have their own. See, I said. You guys saw that, right? I'm not losing my you. mind. You guys just saw an airship go. If I recall, Sid in this game is kind of a flighty douchebag. Hey, Mike. Welcome to the party. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's fuck. over. It's an ambush. We're doomed. Why is that fast forward icon up there? Uh, attack. 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 Nice. Oh, nice. Spread. Oh, sh wow. I think we avoided an up dog. What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Phew. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention to how much money we have. Oh, we have enough to get another. Okay. Oop, get a spell. Hornets! Bees! <laughs> uh, boop. Boop. Punch yourself in the face! Can I do that? Oh, oh. god! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now, uh... Punch yourself, heal yourself. Hey! <laughs> Yay! Bow leveled up. Oh, somebody got HP levels. That girl did. Because he beat the shit out of himself. <laughs> this yeah. is... This strategy is perfect. Everyone's like Saiyans in this game. Defend. Attack. Punch yourself in the face. Punch. Nice. Ow! Oh. Excellent work. If there's uh, anything we know about these games, when it offers, <laughs> if you're having a hard time with the fight and can't get through it, let the game play it for you. You have to pay money. Fine. <laughs> oh, this is a place for armor. <laughs> well, you know, oh, I needed bandages. What am I doing in this GameStop? <laughs> Well, you know how it is with stores, you know, you go up to the registers and they got shit like lip balm and candy up front. Where's the fucking CVS? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> we can do this sequence... Nice. A few more times. Uh, defend, defend. Attack self. <laughs> kill. <laughs> kill, kill, kill it. Nice. <laughs> this fucking goblin is... <laughs> why? Why? Ah, uh, Curl. Shields leveled up. Hands leveled up. Curl's good with his hands. <laughs> I love that it's in jerk. <laughs> Off mode. <laughs> Me got some MP... Uh, so, ooh, nice MP up. Uh, stamina? Sound up, magical up. Curl got some... Uh, 
Got a good chunk of HP, more stamina, more magic, <laughs> more MP, more strength, more spirit. What a beast. And Kratom gets nothing. Fuck you, Kratom. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> you come in, you're all like burnt to hell. <laughs> Y'all have, like, the Daffy Duck Blast back here. <laughs> I... 47 gil! Cause you're beat to hell. I don't have enough money! I'm in trouble. <laughs> uh, do you have any items? Uh, I mean, we we can survive a quick fight. Uh, burn one, attack another. No! Whoa. It's not Kratom! No, she's poisoned. It's fine. Everything is fine. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> this dude is just like, die. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, some HP. Yeah, because she's almost dead. <laughs> All right. I think uh, we should beat the shit out of her for a while. What if Curl, hear me out, just punches her one time? <laughs> Just dead in the face. Did you not see how much damage he did to that hornet? He yeah, did but like the, 70 damage Yeah, to the but hornet. the hornet's not wearing armor. Kratom has armor. She can handle it. Final Fantasy 2, the pummeling. <laughs> Defend. Defend. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, see? She's fine. <laughs> She'll walk it off. <laughs> the goblin must be sitting there like, what? I think the goblin is terrified because he and his friends show up and they're like, haha, these hapless humans, we will take them and their stuff and then we will feast on their corpses. One of them proceeds to murder your friend. Just. And then. <laughs> And then they turn on each other, just beating the shit out of each other, burning one of them alive constantly. That was my And then kill. being like, you can, you can do it! Take the hit! Take the hit! We gotta get stronger! And the guy like, why do I need to be here? <laughs> can I just go? Take the hit! Take the hit! Take- Oh god! Oh fuck! Oh sh shit! Shit! Slinky is gonna have an easy time of it with his first video. It just cuts out like 90%. And now... We can progress. It is time to proceed. It is, and it's time that we have a real save. Is this Finn? No, this is Gatria. No, well, let's... Search around. It is a village of Gatria. Finn's just over there across the lake, see? You know, for what seemed like a place that was being torn apart by unholy demon fire, it seems fine now. Uh, same shit, looks like. Same shit, different day. <sighs> what time is it? 12.29. We'll take, take a break here in just a sec. Maybe they got better armor. Somehow I doubt it. Oh, they got bucklers. Oh, wait. Bucklers are what you already have. Yeah. We've got two dual wielders and a bow. You've got two... You've got one dual wielder, one two shielder. <laughs> He's technically dual wielding. Petra and Altair haven't fell, fallen... Haven't fallen into the clutches of the Empire yet. <laughs> Change into a square key. <laughs> But once the nudes is complete, nothing will be able to stoop the poor. Oh, you sound like that character that John Cleese did in one of those Monty Python skits. Oh, yeah. Was that the cheese skit where he had that weird... Like, he yes. made a deliberate accent. There's a pub just on the outskirts of Finn. When the Empire invaded, the barkeep didn't make it out in time. They say he's still working in there, pouring drinks for the Imperials. I'm sorry, I thought we were playing Final Fantasy, not Star Wars. Oh. Who are you? Nothing happens. That's... But nobody came. <laughs> well, this party sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just a little town. Oh, they got a weapon shop here, but it's just a little town. Do you sell better fists? No. 
Let's look at a 20 gold bow. Oh no, it's the top of the tree. I can't get by. Beast, 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 beast. Fire, attack, cure. That's right, spend all of your cures. Poof. Ooh, fire leveled up. And he's got more hit points. God damn. <laughs> I feel like we're heading into death. Yeah, yep, there's the death. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> well, how much death? Cast cure on him. That seems very death-like. That seems extremely death-like. New animation. Boy, good thing they can take a shitload of damage. Can we flee, please? Nope. Uh, flee. Bye! <laughs> Jesus Christ, you take like two steps out of your way in death! That's what I call uh, the Ragnarok situation. What a, hey. what a sack of garbage. <laughs> I will attack you out of anger. <laughs> so, yeah, Ryan Rock Online. You're on a map with level one pourings. You go west. Oh, now there's level two grasshoppers. Oh, that seems fine. You go west again. Level 30 pourings. <laughs> there's like no visual indicator that this place sucks. Don't go here. Honor and soul, return now from the distant land where sorrow and darkness hold sway. <laughs> and just dump their corpses here. And... Yeet! <laughs> this bitch dead! Yeet! <laughs> Alright, at least resurrection doesn't cost anything. Yes. Aside from the instay. But I mean, you could just cure them, get some magic practice. True. Will he get Matt? Will he get experience points if I cure in the me in the menu? I think so. Although I will say, it is costlier to re revive MP via the inn than it is to revive HP at the inn. So maybe true. heal them once and then go to the inn. Yes. Good thinking. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's- that's so much bullshit. What happens if we go north- can we go northeast around the lake? Like, that's- could- that could so easily have been a party wipe. Like, I think I got really lucky. No. You are done using bow. Bow is awful. You are only magic now. Gotta get him some more spell variety too at some point. Yes. Koda would like to say, if you can believe it. Uh, Crichton, can you demod? Oh, Koda already got demodded when I <laughs> timed him out. So we're gonna have to mod him and no, that then means demod he's easy. him. That means he's easy to uh, time. Time out. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> more MP and more magic. Mod. His intellect is having a hard time going up, gotta say. Gee, I wonder why. Oh! I'm out of control! <laughs> I like the idea that he's not flying around, he's just... Help! Help! Ah! Ah! <laughs> ding, what ding, the ding. fuck? What? <laughs> ding, 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 help! Help! Okay, um, magic, fire, burn. <laughs> it's just as we've heard. The city is crawling with Imperial soldiers. We have to be careful. Make sure not to get too close. Uh, quick save. Just in case you fuck it up. Oh. Bees! <laughs> City bees! Bees roam through the bees. Oh no, herbies. Man. 
man, so much for these. <laughs> uh, well, We're so mad we unbeed their bees. I need to use this. Get out of here. Rebel curse! Uh, punch! Get punched, bitch! Shit! Or we die. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we well. surrender! We surrender! <laughs> All right. See, as it turns out, that's faster than quitting. <laughs> Whoa! Where do you think you're going? Customers aren't allowed behind the counter. These birds are real bred as they come. Ask him about the wild rose. Hey, what about the wild rose? <laughs> halt! 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 <laughs> um. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're with the rebels. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find a secret door in this wall. There's a wounded soldier back there. Go see if you can help him. Halt, 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 halt. <laughs> huh? What am I going to do? I've had it with this place. You guys can take it from here. Don't let us down. But my booze! Take Dude, booze is on the house now. He's not... <laughs> yeah, none of the guards are gonna mind that I'm sitting over here just taking all the liquor. Oh, back we go. Oh, is this Captain Wiener Pants? Potion, potion, potion. <laughs> oh, we took all his medicine. <laughs> he needed that to live. Oh, wait, no. He's not the Wiener Pants. The other guy's the Wiener Pants. Are you going to turn me over to the Empire? At least have the decency to kill me first. Well, okay, B. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want them to take me alive. So, you're rebel soldiers, are you? My name is Scott. <laughs> My name is Jim. <laughs> My name is Bob. I am clearly an important person because I have a very interesting name. Who keeps crates in their bedroom? I have cardboard boxes. That's the modern day equivalent of crates. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, I love Cashwan sauce. <laughs> Prince Scott? We were told you fell in the battle. Thank goodness you're still alive. <laughs> I am, but not, not for much longer. I took an arrow to me. I'm afraid I must ask a favor of you. Take this sword and lop off my head. <laughs> There's something you must, you must tell my brother, Gordon. He's also very important. As you can tell from his name. He's got the mightiest name. <laughs> Tell him I know he has great strength. He must learn to have more faith in himself. I also have a message for the king. Ha ha. <laughs> Get fucked. I've always wanted to say that, but you know, getting executed sucks, but fuck it now. <laughs> yeah, really. Tell him the reason Finn fell so quickly is that I'm uh, terrible at fighting, actually. <laughs> the helicopter broke. The rotor blades broke, and it just. <laughs> Count Borgen betrayed us. See, he's probably more important because Borgen is an interesting name. He's been made a general. Oh, okay, hold on. Borgen just sounds like a Swedish version of like Gordon. Yeah, but it's, it's Borgen. How many per people do you know named Borgen? No, nobody. Exactly. Borgen. You know Scots. You know. Gordon's. Actually, I've never met anyone named Yeah, Gordon. but you know of people named Scott. And that's not true. We knew a Scotty when we were growing up. Yeah. Scotty Davis. Yeah, I knew a Scott, but I've never encountered a Gordon. Yeah, but you know of many Gordons. I know of one Gordon. He's fictional. Exactly. Anyway. General near Pyrrha. There is one more thing. Tell Hilda. Tell her. Inga dinga dirg! <laughs> Tell Hilda that I love her. Also, Inga dinga dirg. No, no, don't deliver that last message. It's sensitive. Confessions of a dying man, they would 
Let me bring her pain. Yeah, if there's one thing I know, it's don't die on a love confession. <laughs> How do you know this? <laughs> yeah, you know, I've been through the I've read, I've read fiction. It never goes well. My, my brother, Butlow. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of him? <laughs> She's so broken up about it. <laughs> How could I not? <laughs> Everyone has heard of Butlow. <laughs> I wish I could be of more help. Here, I want you to take my ring. It was super important of me to come out of bed to hand you this. Marry me, I love you. No, wait, don't deliver that message. Oh god, I'm so indecisive. Ah, oh, my shins. <laughs> <laughs> my shins have exploded. He took an arrow to the knee. Oh. <laughs> I forgot my own joke. I'm sure it would be of use. Now, if you'll excuse me, <sighs> maybe it's I was talking, but I've grown extremely tired. Maybe it's because you walked out of bed, you moron. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I just, I just need to rest, just for a little while. Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> and like all great warriors, he dies a Dragon Ball Z early dub <laughs> death. His fucking Family Guys onto the floor. <laughs> Hi! Nice. Finally, Curl got some spurt. Rixel. <laughs> now throw me up, Mike. Ah! <laughs> Down there. <laughs> ah. R three. Get burnt. Nice, very nice. Wow! <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, back to the safe. Let us hit the inn and get our MPs back. That was one thing I liked about Final Fantasy III. The starting area basically gave you free inns, mm. so you could, you know, accrue a little bit of wealth without having to be like. Uh, am I spending all my... Am I spending all my money on gambling? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Oh, you should buy some uh, more magic. Thank you. You're welcome. I think that's actually... I think that's specifically Sid, isn't it? Yeah. Like in this one, he's just flying around just randomly, seeing the world. Fucking joyriding. Like I in still. All... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, like in most of the other Final Fantasies, Sid is always like this pretty stationary character. He just builds the airship, and of course, now you're gonna have to level your Blizzard and. Thunder spells. Hey, not a problem. Ah, oh, this is great. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more of this amazing gameplay. You'll want to be around for the next 17 hours of this. Whee! Also, I'm sorry for that like, comment, and subscribe since, since that thing. That was cheesy as hell. It's new! We're actually posting shit on- Slinky cut that whole thing out. That was terrible. <laughs> uh, but uh, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> for the professionalism. <laughs> no, no. Slinky, keep this in. <laughs> no. The thing is, we're not even sure if the algorithm cares about that anymore. I've noticed a few- I've noticed a few streamers aren't even- like, YouTubers aren't even doing that. Cut it all out! Just delete the video, come back, try it again tomorrow. <laughs> Slinky, delete us. <laughs> delete our channel. <laughs> come to our house, delete us. <laughs> With guns. <laughs> he was coming for me! <laughs> What's a Hot Pocket flavor you think they should do? Good. I, there's good hot pockets, <laughs> you shitbag. 
<laughs> you heard you mentioned garlic bread. Garlic bread! Eep! <laughs> It's a dangerous world to be to be a, a chef. <laughs> Just sitting, flying around and hoping to hear somebody speak of tasty food. <laughs> I made scrambled eggs. <laughs> like how's <it's> just... <laughs> I I made some I made some delicious taquitos, dear. <laughs> Have I talked to you? Yes. Okay. That's quite the outfit. <laughs> March out the sexy soldiers. The items. Ring. That ring belonged to Scott. Is is he alive? Nope. Super dead. Fell out of bed. Fucking face planted right in front of me. Ring did, fell did out. He Here do, you go. Did he do the pose? D he did the pose. <laughs> then he died with grace and dignity. <laughs> He gave us this ring and fin just before he lost the last of his strength. So you let him die is what you're saying? Yes. Did he say anything? No. 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 <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Loudly squints. <laughs> Your Highness, please. The ring belongs with you. He died face first into the garlic bread. No. Keep it. Thanks? It suits a personage of courage. Also, wait a minute, did you go to Flynn? What the- <laughs> You infiltrated Finn who returned to tell the tale. You've proven yourselves to be quite capable at disobeying orders! <laughs> he died face first into the garlic bread. The only way to go. <laughs> this is exactly what we need in our armors, army. Disobedient soldiers. It would seem I underestimated your strength. No, I'm pretty sure he waltzed in there and got the hell murdered out of us. I would have you lend that strength to our cause. There's a magical metal known as Mithril, and we need strong warriors if we are to obtain it. Learn hey, the Mithril. Ask about Mithril. We lost Finn because we were ill-equipped. The Empire fought with weapons and armor made of Mithril. Oh, so one-up them. Don't go find Mithril, because they're just gonna- while they already have Mithril, they're gonna be looking into better shit. So you need to skip Mithril, and you just need to go for the Skyforge garbage. No, see, then you just wind up with this back and forth one-upsmanship, just go straight to nukes, bomb the shit out of them, be done with it. <laughs> yeah, just go find Ultima. Win. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think Braxton has tried a thing. And now I must know. I've charged Yosef, a man living in Salaman, with the task of finding a source of Mithra. Now see, Yosef, that dude's probably important. I do not know the cause. Well, he's only important because I chose to pronounce it in that specific way. I could have just called him Joseph. Well, it's still spelled with an F. <laughs> Joseph with an F. Joseph. Imagine it, it, introducing yourself that way all the time and how many shit kickings you'd get. I'm Hi. Joseph, with an F. Yeah, well, you're about to get F'd in the <laughs> face. I do not know the cause, but we've been out of contact with him for some time now. It probably isn't that he's super dead. <laughs> Would you go with Minwoo to Salaman to look into this? Uh, sure. Rex says, if you don't want to taste garlic punching in the face with brass knuckles, this is how you do it. I heard her highness's words and have waited here for you since. <laughs> for ten seconds. To reach Salaman, we must first pass through the port town of Paloom. Take my canoe and let us be on our way. Yo! <laughs> Minwu joined the party. I believe he is a white mage. Cool. We needed that. We got a canoe! Kick Minwu out and canoe time. No, oh, look at his spell list though. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Dude, this guy's gonna eat shit and we're not gonna have him and his amazing abilities anymore. Get out of the front line. <coughs> no, if we've learned anything, it's white mages need to be in the front line. White mages go in front.
Well, now we're invincible, so... Uh, where did he say it was? Ding, 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 uh, ding, 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 Hey, chat. Help. <laughs> Paloom. Paloom. You folks wouldn't be looking to book passage on a ship, would you? For just 32 gil, we'll see you safely to Poft. <laughs> uh, no thanks. Okay, sorry, I draw the line at Poft. <laughs> that ship, okay, well then fuck you two. <laughs> um... You guys got anything good? Uh, uh, well, let's check, uh, see if there's any, like... Weapons and shit. Yeah. Hey, you went away with the Darber. Hello, Amp. Welcome. Hey, Amp, how you doing? You got anything good that I don't have? Nope. You got a mace. In I really case... don't want to waste money on Minwoo. <laughs> Thanks. Sell better shit. For real. Oh, there's a magic store. Ooh, bronze. You can afford, like, three, four co copper cuirasses or three of anything else. Now, is there a reason for me to put lighter armor on my people? Let's see what kind of magic we got. While you look that up, let's see what kind of magic options we got down here. Palooms, a town of freedom. Want to settle down with me, handsome? There's like four of us. Is that what we're doing now? Is that what you're signing up for? Because we're down. I don't know about Minwoo. We don't know him very well. Toast. Ew. Uh. Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Uh, in the uh, in the original game, there was a reason, because armor and shields gave an intelligence penalty and a spirit penalty, but subsequent versions from PlayStation onward removed the mechanic. So it's just, there's no reason for me not to just upgrade. Yeah. Well, now I have these options. But, uh, I wasn't sure, like, are we not bothering? I mean, they might be useful early on, it's just once you reach a certain point, like, I think it said protect becomes useless once you have ribbons. Uh, blink is useless once everyone has really high evasion. Shell is similarly useless when everyone has really high magic defense. Well, for right now... Don't buy Aura at all. Just get Berserk. For right now, we will just focus on... Well, we gotta, we gotta first buy two shields. <laughs> and upgrade... Curl. And we can get... And we can also get him a copper cuirass. Perfect. Oh, I can equip... Yeah, him. I think Minu is already wearing bronze shit. There we go. Sell... Sell the buckler. Sell the other buckler. Okay. I can afford another thing. Get him some bronze gloves. Uh, I can afford copper curases for the other two. I should probably do that. There we go. And there's another hundred. I can't afford anything else. Well, that'll have to be good enough for now. 
man. I love old video game artwork. Oops. I didn't want to do that. There's a certain... No matter how good it was, there's a certain level of jank with old video game artwork. Oh, the ship is out there. I'm, I'm a silly Sue. Away we go! Boat um, away to victory. No boat music? Yeah, interest. Yeah, you get the chest armor. They're like, do you want the gloves? They'll cost you four times as much. Well, the chest armor is just like a slab that they bang into a chesty shape. Gloves are like articulated. I thought and you were going to say chest armor is just a slab that they nail to your chest. <laughs> oh, here's Poft. Let's get out of here. We need to go to. Five, Five goblins! goblins. Five goblins! What? Eh, eh. I keep forgetting I have a map. Uh -huh. I'm not used to having good things in Final Fantasy games. Uh, oh, oh God. Jesus. Well, never mind. Life seems like it would be a good one to have. Yes, a resurrection spell. And also, I'm... there was teleport, which would be great for dungeons. Yes. Life would be excellent because the life spell costs as much as a single phoenix down. Or no, sorry. Two phoenix downs. It's a discount. The only way my dude is going to get any good at it is, is, if you... is for... Uh, this time, we'll have... Uh, we'll have Kratom... Wraith on... <laughs> no! We still have to reef on Kratom because she needs more hit points. Yeah, so I'll just have her stab herself repeatedly with her swords till she's dead. And, and then, then you life her, and then she stabs herself to death again, and this isn't a traumatic experience at all. <laughs> Dude, we keep finding goblins like that. Jesus Whoa, Christ. Whoa, Queen Bee! Kill. Punch. Whoa. What a sack. I am Curl of the Two Shields Clan. <laughs> None can pierce this defense. Also, <laughs> oh god, that was a lot of poison damage. I forgot it goes up. Uh, got poison damage goes up as you get stronger. Because it's a percentage of health thing. What is the lore of Tonberries? I'm gonna get Matt Pat on the horn. Oh, that was not that was not a good name. The Tonberry, sometimes known as Pug, Dingleberry. Oh no. Tonberries and Meaty Horror Masters. Is that maybe it's because Tonberry was like a boss in like something like Crystal Chronicles, and it was in a meteor, and it was just called the Master of the Meteors, kind of a thing. Maybe. Gotta grab some. A little bit more cash. This looks like it's going to be a grinderific fun fest. I hope you are looking forward to the rest of this as much as we are. Man, there's no like Tonberry lore. <laughs> That's where we're at right now. We're desperately well, I'm just like. For like, you know, I thought about it, I was like, Tonberries are really interesting for Final Fantasy. Like, it seems like the kind of cre- like, you know, the Malboro, right? Like, that you don't really need lore for. Like, it's just a terrifying, iconic monster. That but, smokes a lot. But Tonberries seem different. They're so out of- they're so out of place, and so weird, it's like, there's gotta be, like, some backstory for this creature, and why it keeps appearing, and why it's so terrifyingly deadly. Kinda like Cactuars. Yeah, is Cactuars that, too. Is Cactuar lore? <laughs> why isn't there any lore in Final Fantasy? <laughs> of all the things to not have lore. Alright, well... Uh... This has been Final Fantasy 2 Episode 1. I'm looking forward to this, honestly. This is a game that I've never played, really. This is 
further than I've ever been in it, so I'm in completely uncharted territory. I am quite enjoying beating the shit out of my own friends for fun and profit. <laughs> and, uh... You know, before anybody is like, Whoa, this is a stupid mechanic, you can just beat the shit out of your own friends. Have you ever played Valheim? Have they fixed that yet? <laughs> That was the best part is when we realized, oh hey, we can improve our skills by just beating the shit out of each other. But again, I would like to point out, that's what combat training is. You fight your friends in a controlled environment so you can get better without the threat, constant threat of actual murder. And you only occasionally accidentally murder each other. <laughs> like it's a 90% survival rate. Compare that to just giving your kid a knife and saying, go into the woods, fight some wolves. If you come back, you'll be a stronger man. <laughs> it's a 90% it's a ninety percent uh, survival rate. It's better than most karate classes. Um, real talk, though. Karate, like, martial arts classes for kids, at least the kind where they, like, pit the kids up against each other, really rubs me the wrong way. What, you don't like watching kids throw each other in the walls? <laughs> Hurt each other? <laughs> well, the th I don't have I don't have any issue with the concept of kids as combatants. What I have an issue with is the possibility that some of those kids are not there because they want to be there. And that means that, like, if my son were to go join a karate class, there's a good chance that he's beating the shit out of some kid who does not want to be there. And that seems like a really bad <laughs> situation. I mean, football's kind of the same way when you think about it. Kinda, you throw your yeah. kid, you're like, hey, child of mine, I want you to be a big, macho, football player go bust some heads kid your son's like but i wanted to be a hairdresser <laughs> and he's there and he's like i don't want to be here well too bad die <laughs> because i know like any given activity there's always you know you're on a baseball team there's always a kid on that team who did not sign up for baseball because they were excited to play baseball there's always some kid in choir who's not there because they want to sing. Yeah, but at least in choir, no one's running up behind him and yeeting him <laughs> off the stage. Yeah. Surprise attack! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. So, it just... I'm not, I'm not super comfortable with the idea of, like, you know, <laughs> some kids are in this class getting the tar crap kicked out of them. Who doesn't want to be there getting the tar crap kicked out of them. Not normally. Yeah, haven't you ever been in combat choir? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get in to be like the choir vocals in Dark Souls tracks. You have, you have, you have to survive combat choir. <laughs> you have songs where it's like, period, like it for in some sections of the songs, everybody sings except the sopranos, and the soprano sections swoop in upon each other and like ah <laughs> ninja choir everyone's just singing and then just a ninja appears suddenly and murders someone at random <laughs> oh. 